hello guys welcome back to the channel <clears throat> and welcome back to another noodle legs movie review tonight we're looking at a classic um a roman polanski movie uh called rosemary's baby starring uh mia farrah now this film is one of its one of those films with a, a big sort of history you know like the exorcist and the omen it's one of those classic sort of films uh, it's a long film. It runs for nearly two and a half hours. Uh, the film sort of starts off with... Um, we see this sort of like beautiful building. It's like a really old sort of building. And we see a couple with a guy walking by like a fountain entering the building. And who this is, this is Mia Farrow and her husband, who's like an actor. And they're looking for a place to sort of... Um, to, to to rent or suppose or buy the, the way that they're doing decorating it i think it's to buy um but they yeah, they they turn up and they have a, a look around into this beautiful old building and then they go up to the it's got an old fashioned sort of lift with a with a sort of lift porter and all this kind of cool which is really cool and then they go up into the flat and it's huge it's really really nice and apparently it was an old woman that used to live there um, before they they moved in, but apparently she just died. Okay. Anyway, they they have a look around the the, the flat and they love she uh, Mia Farrow loves it. She loves all the room. Rosemary, if you want to call her, and she's um she loves all the all, all the rooms and everything. And then the guy, the landlord, notices that the wardrobe's been moved. Um, it goes this there's there's a closet behind here, so her. Uh, Rosemary's husband and the uh, landlord move the wardrobe out of the way so they can sort of access this closet. And it's like this big build up for this sort of closet, and they open it, and it's just a shelving unit with like a hoover in it. But anyway, she, she really likes it, and so that the, they leave the viewing, and you see them walking in the town, and she's saying, Oh, you know, I really want to move there, I love it, I really love it, really like it. Let's do it anyway. I think they decide they're going to rent it. They go back to their old place and they're, they're they're having dinner with I don't know if it's a friend or their old landlord. And he says he's going to give them a really good reference, saying that they're reliable, etc., etc. And he's saying, "I wish you wouldn't move. You know, I like it, like it." And he's then they sort of sit down to dinner and he starts telling um, them stories about the building they're moving into because apparently he knows a bit about the building. It's got some history. And apparently there was two um, sisters there that killed children and stuff like that. And they were sort of like doing sort of like witchcraft. <clears throat> so there's history in this building already. Um, and then they move in. Uh, anyway, so, so no matter whatever sort of warnings they've been had, they, they, they decide to move in because they love the apartment. And we, we see them there on their first sort of night, and it's quite sweet. They're having a little picnic on the on the floor with a, just a lamp. They've got no furniture yet. And then we sort of see um, sort of clips from different days when bits of furniture come in and uh, decorating and all this sort of thing going on. And, and they're starting to sort of like build up a home, if you like, you know, build up a home. And it's it's a very beautiful, beautiful home, beautiful flat. Um, it reminds me a lot of a flat that I used to live in in Nottingham. Um, and it reminds me of the flat there. And it's about the same sort of size. Um, really, really nice. So that they're all happy settling in. And they do lots of little bits of love making and stuff. And they can, they can hear neighbours for the walls and things like this and things going on. So all this sort of... Um, kind of stuff's going on and, and and they can like i said they can hear the neighbors and um <clears throat> and 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 it's in quite a nice little couple and she she's at home um and she's sort of like a just like a homebody i think doing the house up while he goes out to work he's like an actor he does a lot of tv commercials and things like this um and then we see her down in the laundry room downstairs. And she meets a young woman down there. Someone else who lives in the flat. And this is quite a depressed uh, uh, woman, actually. She's got no sort of family in that. She's 
always seems to be in and out of trouble, she says, and she lives with her family upstairs, and they keep her on the straight and narrow, or she'd be in jail or dead or whatever. So she, she meets her, and they have a good sort of jibber-jabber, and they decide to be like laundry mates, where they'll go down and do laundry together. So that's quite cool for her. So she's sort of like already sort of met a friend. And that that's really cool. And then they go out. We see them walking the street. And they're coming back from a night out. And outside their, their apartment. There's all these people going around. And these police. So they rush over to what seems going on. And there on the floor. With her head all smashed in. Is the woman uh, that she met in the laundry room. She's now dead. And there's all blood. And it's quite a gory scene. Um, there's all blood everywhere and stuff like that. And then this old couple arrive. And this seems to be the old couple that she, the young girl, was living with. So, <clears throat> the woman of the old couple goes over to the body and identifies that, yeah, it's her. And she goes, oh, has she got any family? She goes, no, just does. And and uh, Rosemary goes, no, she's got, um, she's got a sister. Um... Sorry, guys. She's got a sister. Uh, not not a sister, a brother. And because I was talking to her, and she said she's got a brother. So, all this is going on. And then, so she's now met this old couple. And she introduced herself as Rosemary and stuff like this. And then the next day, the, 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 the old couple are quite blase about this girl being killed. It's like no big shock or anything. So the next day, the old woman comes up at the at Rosemary's flat, knocks on the door, comes in, has a little look around. A nosy neighbour, in other words. And she loves what they've done to the place. And they're having a bit of a chat. <clears throat> and, she's, and she asks her if they've got any children. Rosemary says no. Uh, but, you know, they, they, they do plan in um, having children. They're going to turn one of the rooms into a nursery. Anyway, so... Um, the old woman invites them both up for dinner, um, to be you know just to be friendly, like to introduce themselves. So she goes off on her way. Now, then the, um, Rosemary's husband turns in from work, and he tells about the the woman coming to visit and being invited for dinner. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, guys. I still can't shift this cough. I've had this cough for a year. Um, so um. And he tells about how nice she was and all this sort of thing. And the film sort of moves along. And they start making friends with the elderly neighbours that are there. But they all seem a bit strange and a bit off. And, of course, Rosemary and her husband are trying for a, a baby. And so, and there's one evening, she, she, she has funny dreams, um, Rosemary. And there's one evening where she's she sort of like particularly she's being raped by the devil. Of course, I can't show you that. Um, but they all saying that's just a dream, just a sort of dream, and, that. and then Rosemary becomes pregnant. Okay, now obviously they think it's the, the husband, Rosemary, and the husband, but we know other things, and that's all I'm going to tell you. So, what is going on then in this apartment? Um, who are all these old couples and old people? They seem to like be like some sort of a cult sort of thing going on there. And did she did she really dream of being raped by this devil? And all this sort of thing. Um, you need to watch it and find out. What do I think of Rosemary's Baby? It, it's a classic. It's a classic horror movie. It's very, very slow paced. It's a slow burner. But it's a classic tale of... Um, of... De demons and devil so it's, it's a great great film the pluses of this edition by paramount the the transfer is amazing it looks absolutely stunning um and mia farrow is absolutely she's just beautiful on screen um absolutely fantastic well acted fantastic story negatives it is a slow pace and i think just a tad too long i think they could have knocked maybe half an hour to 40 minutes off it and uh, it still would have been an hour and 40 minutes and I think that would have been long enough but 
there we go there's a story that needs to be told and it was told and this is what happened and it's got a very really sort of a you know sort of shock value throughout the film so i'm going to score the film an amazing watch and score it a nine out of ten it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 for me just because of that that slow burn pacing it's a little bit too slow for me i love a slow burn you know i do um but two 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 hours and 20 minutes it's a little bit too slow but still amazing nine out of ten rosemary's baby any of you guys seen it? if you have let me know down below what you thought of it it's a great great film it's a classic of its time um i'm not sure if there was a remake i'm not sure um, probably, I hope not, but I wouldn't watch it anyway, because I don't do remakes, it stands on its own, um, and it still stands for the test of time now, it's still in the gripping and great watch, and scary and terrifying watch now, great movie, guys, till my next video, check out some horror channels for me, check out Horror Hands, the Horror Geek Man Review Film, RS Designs, Pizzlewell, I am the Ice Lord, Sarah of Horror, Cat Watches Horror Movies, and Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. And a shout out to my amazing lad, Lemon Lord. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.